This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hello, pet friends. This is Michelle Byrne, your host on Best Bets for Pets. Have I got a bowl for you. I mean, this bowl, it's changed my life. It changed Nikki's life for the better. Stay tuned. We're going to talk to its inventor and um, tell you all about it. We'll be right back. For generations, James Harriet's memoirs, All Creatures Great and Small, and All Things Bright and Beautiful, have enchanted animal lovers. Now, in a set of brand new audiobook recordings, Nicholas Ralph, star of the upcoming PBS Masterpiece series, brings to life the unforgettable world of James Harriet and his menagerie of heartwarming, funny, and tragic animal patients. Full of charm and wit, the audiobooks are the perfect way to delve into the magical stories of the world's most beloved vet. The All Creatures Great and Small and All Things Bright and Beautiful audiobooks are available now wherever audiobooks are sold. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com Welcome back, everyone. I'd like to introduce Deborah Mastic. She is the founder and inventor of the Fluff Truff Bowl. Welcome, Deborah. Thanks, Michelle. Hi, everyone. Okay, first, before we even talk about the bowl and how you came to design it and everything, I have to tell you that, let's see, I've been doing Best Bets for Pets for 10 years. I've had a lot of bowls on the show and I've purchased a lot of bowls. I had two dogs now. Unfortunately, I lost one, so I have one. And Nikki is a Havanese, and he is notorious for moving his bowl all over the place. Trip over the bowl, he just moves it. This is the only bowl he's not been able to move. So I know that's a side benefit of your bowl because it wasn't the main idea for the invention, but it's amazing. He cannot move it. (laughs) So... I am so happy to hear that. For 15 pounds, this little dog can move a lot, you know? So (laughs) I am amazed. But let's talk about how you came to design it. What made you come up with the idea that I have to create a bowl because there needs to be another kind of bowl out there? How did this come about? Okay. So I have a pug and his name is Porkchop. And pugs are known for their love of eating, along with some other things. And pork chop developed vestibular disease, which causes like some balance issues and it can cause a permanent head tilt. And he had always kind of had issues eating from regular dog bowls because he has a pug or a flat face. He's a pug. And when he got the vestibular disease, he just struggled to eat. And it broke my heart because that is his favorite activity. So I searched and I did a lot of research and I was like, there's got to be a dog bowl for him. And I couldn't find anything. So I just, I thought really hard, what, what would make it easiest for him to eat? And I made a prototype on my 3D printer. So you can make anything on your 3D printer, anything you can imagine. I made the prototype for the bowl and I put food safe epoxy on it so I could test the design of the bowl and it worked really well for him. So I shared that prototype with some other pet parents and the feedback that I consistently received was, oh my gosh, I have been looking for a bowl like this for a long time and they were really excited about it. So I decided to start the process of getting a patent on the design and I did a Kickstarter to see if I'd get more interest in the bowl. And uh, the Kickstarter was funded in 24 hours. Wow. That's congrats. That's amazing. Thank you. So tell us about, because we're audio, so can if you give us a good description, what is the shape of the bowl? I know trough is in the name, so it looks a little bit like a trough, but how would you describe it as far as the shape? Because it's so different than an ordinary dog bowl. 
It is. Uh, so, um, yes, it's called a fluff trough because the basic shape is more like a pig trough. It has an open front design, and this makes it easier uh, for any pet to eat, really, because they don't have to bend their neck at a 90-degree angle and press their nose um, into a bowl to eat because that makes it really difficult to breathe and really uncomfortable. So it's got an open front design and it's got higher sides. So the higher sides helps prevent food from sliding out of the bowl. So a lot of dogs, like you mentioned earlier, they start eating and the bowl starts sliding all around the floor and then the food goes on the floor as well. So the higher sides help support flat-faced dogs' natural eating motion because they basically use their whole face in a scooping motion to eat. And it also has a flat back. Most pet bulls are round, right? We're stuck in this convention that pet bulls have to be round. Well, the problem with a, a round pet bull is you put it against any wall, it's going to start sliding when the pet eats. So we have a flat back for the fluff trough so you can set it against the wall and it's it's more sturdy. Your dog can't tip it over or, you know, push it around. What is the material? Because that I think helps too, because it seems to adhere. I mean, Nikki mostly eats or he should mostly eat in the kitchen and it doesn't seem to slide around this bowl. And I've had others that were supposed to stay in place, but did not. Yeah. So the base of the, the fluff trough is made from a high quality food safe plastic, but every fluff trough comes with a dishwasher safe FDA approved silicone insert. Vets will recommend silicone just as much as they do stainless steel. So the silicone insert fits very snugly in the base and it, it's easy uh, when your pet's done eating, you can just pick up the silicone insert and either hand wash it or throw it in the dishwasher. Well, I think it's a great idea and I have no words. Nikki, I don't know if it's the ball moves on him or he thinks it's a game. Let's slide the ball around the kitchen because that's what he does. He always <laughs> move it. It's like his game and he can't move this. He can take food out of it and put it on the floor, but he cannot move the ball. Yes. <laughs> so I just think that it's fabulous that it works so well. And Nikki's having these, so he has like um like a beard. He's not really flat faced, but he has a beard. What about for dogs with snouts? Would this just be just as easy for them to eat them? Yeah. I have in addition to pork chop, I have three other dogs with snouts and they all eat from fluff troughs with with no issues. And when I launched this product, it really started with a, a bunch of pug owners, but now we have a lot of other breeds using the, the fluff trough and uh, I've seen pigs use it. I've seen cats use it. It's just more comfortable for them to eat. It's more ergonomically designed than a regular traditional floor-based pet feeder. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back and talk about what's up and coming for fluff trough. We'll be right back. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets. Let's Talk Pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're talking with Deborah, the founder and inventor of the Fluff Truck Bowl. So, Deborah, I love the fact that the insert comes out. That makes it so much easier and less cumbersome than having to wash the entire uh, device, you know, the entire bowl and the holder and everything all at once because some don't come apart. 
What about a water bowl? And also, do you have any different sizes for maybe super large dogs or very tiny dogs? Yeah, great question. So the next uh, products we're releasing is a stainless steel water bowl insert. And it fits the same base for the fluff trough. So the great thing about this, a lot of elevated feeders, you have the stand and it has two bowls inset into the stand. But the problem with that is the food can easily contaminate the water bowl, right? So when they're both in the same stand, then you get dirty water. So with the fluff trough, when your dog is done eating from the silicone insert, you can just remove that and replace it with our stainless steel water bowl insert. And that's been designed so it can hold over two cups of water for the, the current size. That's great. And it doesn't get all over the place. Yeah, it, it has uh, some drip pans to help without making a mess. And again, it's just much easier for your pet to drink water. And if you have a pet that tends to drink too much water at once, it really enables you to control the amount of water that you're giving to them because you can put a shallow amount of water in the bowl. And because of the design, a shallow amount of water is still very easy to access and drink from. Where when you have a regular bowl, when you have a shallow amount of water, your pet's really bending their neck to get to that you know, bottom layer of the water. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. And what about other sizes for maybe if you have a little tiny dog or if you have a, you know, Great Dane? Yeah. So what's interesting is when I made the the current size of fluff trough we, we have, it was really designed for pork chop and dog breeds that kind of match the, the pug size. But the height, so the, the base where you put the food, we actually have Chihuahua customers that, that are able to use it as well. So we have a wide range of dogs using the current size. The next size we're coming up with is the Fluff Trough XL. And that's designed for our target breed is uh, English Bulldogs. Because right now we have some Bulldogs using the current size and it's just a bit small. But the, the larger Fluff Trough is taller and wider. And it's going to accommodate a much larger range of breeds. Okay, great. And you also have something, I think it's an insert for dogs that eat too fast, which is always, it's always a problem. And when they eat too fast, they intend to get sick. Tell yes. us about that. So my pork chop is such a, a slow eater. Uh, so I never had to worry about him eating too fast or choking or getting sick after he ate. But after I released this product, a lot of customers shared with me, hey, I have a really fast eater and, you know, I'm concerned about them choking. I love the design of the fluff trough, but do you have an option for fast eaters? So we made um, alternative insert that you can get and it's called the binge blocker. Uh, one of our customers came up with that name, which I just love. Yeah, and it's great. Thank you. It's in, it's got uh, food pockets that kind of hold the food so it, it slows down your, your pets. And the nice thing is most slow feeders on the market right now, they're made from plastic, they're floor-based, so they're very easy to flip over and spill the food all over the place. And the plastic could potentially hurt your dog's nose or their teeth as they're, you know, trying to frantically get this food out. So our bench blocker insert, it still fits the, the base and it's made from the FDA approved silicone. So it's a more firm silicone, but it's still softer on their face. What about for cats? Because I know that cats need to have a bowl that's, it has to be so that their whiskers don't touch the sides. They really don't like to eat from bowls where their whiskers touch the side of the bowl. The fluff chop seems like it'd be a great idea for cats, but a lot of cats like to eat also high up. Yes, cats. So cats do prefer the, the elevated feeders and we do have a lot of cat customers, there's something called whisker fatigue, right? So if their whiskers while they're eating are pressing a, against a bowl for too long, that can irritate them and make it an uncomfortable experience for them. So because the fluff trough has a, a wide surface area, much wider than most round bowls, it's very ergonomic for cats to eat from too. 
Okay. Well, I think that this is just the best. The fact that your dog can eat with, especially if you have a breed with a flatter nose, that your dog can eat safely. It's better for their health. It's cleaner. They're not going to, in my case, travel with it. And it ends up being cleaner too, since he's not traveling and putting it all over the floor. Great idea. The fluff trap is a great looking bowl besides being so effective in feeding your pooch. Were there a lot of modifications in coming up with the look of the bowl? Is there specifics in the look of the bowl? Or what can you add? So what can you tell me about that? Good question. So we wanted the bowl to be very functional for pets. We wanted it to create a safer and more comfortable and healthier dining experience. But we also know that pet parents want something that looks nice. So we designed the bowl to have what I would call a a farmhouse modern design. And the feedback we get from so many people is the bowl looks so nice in their kitchen or their dining room that they just leave it out all the time. It just goes with the the rest of the decor. And we have four colors. So there's gray and black, and those colors match uh, most kitchens. And we also have a teal and purple. The great thing about the fluff trough that's different from other pet bowls is that you can customize it. So you can put your pet's name or any words or pictures or stickers you want on each side of the bowl. And customers will create the most beautiful artwork on their bowl. So when you order one, you can order your pet's name, you can pick the type of font you want, and then the color of vinyl that you want to customize their bowl. So that's nice. Not only looks great, it's very decorative as well. So what more could you want? Now, where can people find the fluff chop? Where can they buy it? We're currently selling it on our website, www.flufftroth.com. Okay. And not yet in any big stores, but probably soon because this is an amazing bowl. It doesn't even seem right to call it a bowl. If There should be another name for it. I yeah. know stuff is in the is in there, but you know, a um eating receptacle for your pooch or something. It's really just has such great qualities. And I don't know what more could you say? It's just a wonderful wall. Kudos for designing and creating the fluff drop because I was really surprised in seeing it because I've had on Best Pets for Pets many, many, many bowls. And this one is really different. Thank you so much. Okay, so people can go to flufftop.com and order the bowl and then the water bowl and different sizes coming out next year. We are going to start taking pre-orders soon for both the Fluff Trop XL and the water bowl. We hope to get them out within this year, but we're just dealing with COVID delays that are just slowing things down a bit. Yes. Deborah, thank you so much for coming on Best Buds for Pets and telling us all about the fluff trough. I wish you amazing success. Everybody listening, check this bowl out. It is a game changer. Your pooch will love it. You will love it. It is fantastic. And there's so much I love about it, but we we talked about everything. So I'm not going to babble about anything more. So Deborah, thank you again for coming on Best Buds for Pets. Thank you so much. That was such an interesting interview. I want to thank everybody listening to Best Bets for Pets. Thank you so much. We've had so many products on this show. I think over, I want to say over 300. So quite a lot. And honestly, honestly, this is the first bowl Nikki has not been able to move around. So blows me away and he's comfortable eating from it. So please check it out. Flufftrop.com. A great bowl for any flat nosed dogs, dogs that, you know, just it's just for any dog and wonderful, wonderful bowl. Thanks to my guest, Deborah Mastic, the founder and creator of Fluff Trough. Thanks to Nikki for testing it. And he proved, well, the ball proved that it will not move with Nikki's pushing it around. So I'm so thrilled about that. And he, I think he ate better too, you know, it's just great. And it's cleaner. I love it. And thanks to everyone listening to Best Vets for Pets. Thanks for listening for all these years. I appreciate it so much. And a huge thanks to my producer, Mark Winner, for making me and my guest sound great. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.